When all those drivers get to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, they'll have a few more options now that the governor's safer at home order has been relaxed. News 5's Debbie Williams is live along the Foley Beach Express. And Debbie, a lot of folks headed south and probably might want to visit something other than the beach. Yeah, they might do. You know, it's easy to see why they're expecting record crowds just from the traffic that we're seeing on the Beach Express. And when they get there, it'll be just in time for some attractions to reopen for the first time in a couple of months. The rush is on. All those people heading to the beach, and they're not the only ones in a hurry. We're just tickled to get back open. Attractions like Waterville are busy getting ready for a delayed opening day. It was very important for us to get open. We got 150 employees here right now. A lot of them feeding their families with the money we get here. The water park opens at 9, the amusement park at noon. Hand sanitizing stations and social distancing reminders are everywhere. Almost every square inch of this place has uh, uh, tape on the ground, tape in our lines. Uh, we, we're just going to keep people apart best we can. Just up the road at the track, expect to see the bumper boats and all your other favorite rides operational starting Saturday afternoon, with one big exception, the Sky Coaster will open later this summer. It's one of our biggest weekends of the year. The Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo opens at 9 o'clock Saturday morning for the first time in two months. We were going to have one way in and one way out. So there'll be definite uh, directional signs to keep you flowing. Try to keep the six foot distance. Animal encounters and amusement rides will still be off limits. Staff will be wearing masks and they encourage visitors to do the same. Ecstatic that finally get the doors open. A lot of folks are ecstatic at, down at the beach because of the reopenings of some of these entertainment venues. Now, tourism officials tell me that occupancy at the beach this weekend already at 90 percent. That's way above what they saw this time last year and definitely better than what they thought it would be. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.